Hi there. In this lesson, we will see SSLength function in action. SSLength is used to determine the number of objects in a selection set. In the example that we are going to do is we will count the number of block of cables in the drawing and display to the user. So let's get started. Currently we have one one cable, one block. So this is uh, this is the block of cable. the black name cable. Let's try to copy some of these. One, two, three, a few more. Let's say we have six cables. So let's create a program and display the number of cables to the user. So let's say we create a, a macro the fancy let's say count cables okay so first we're going to select all the cables in the drawing so let's say we create a cable cables variable to store all the cables we use the ssget function we use the entity type as the one of the filter criteria is insert. Another one is we use the the block name because if let's say there are some other blocks in this drawing, it might get selected also. So we have to be more specific. So the block name is cable. Okay. Now let's get the length of the cables, the number of cables from the selection set. Let's say the variable is LEN, the length, and we issue here the S is length cables. Okay. Now we are going to display the number of cables in the drawing to the user. So let's use the alert command and we are also going to use the str cut. This is the string concatenation. Say there are there are. Then we use now the the length of the cable to display here. There is a function called itua. It's called integer to ASCII. Basically, converting the integer to ASCII so that we can use it in the string the it will end so basically we're getting the length of the cable and converting it to string there are cables there are a number of cables in this drawing All right then we just include princey for a clean output and close it so this is our macro count cables if we now issue the count cables command see there are six cables in the drawing we have six one two three four five six so that's where you use the ssln command it is very very important in Autolisp. You can use it to loop loop through the collection set, the selection set, and then process every object in the selection set by using the SSLand as the the conditional expression as to whether you reach the the last digit or the maximum numbers of objects in the selection set. So that's it. Give it a try and see if your numbers are correct. Try selecting some other objects. And by, by adding more filter criteria and see if your numbers are correct. 
in the next lesson we will have some exercises for all these uh, selection set functionalities and I'll see you in the next video.